Hey guys, I'm making this quick video just to show you if you have your screen, your Mac, if it's stuck something like this, you can only see your cursor. So let me just bring out the cursor. Okay, I can't see my cursor anymore. But anyways, um, your cursor would be around here right now. My cursor might be lost somewhere since I have two screens. So both of your screens might be black, okay, right now. And you might see just your cursor. So what you have to do, unfortunately, is actually turn it off and you have to turn it back on, okay? So we're gonna do that right now. Um, to turn it off, uh, whether you have a MacBook, MacBook Pro or an iMac, just uh, hold your button to turn it off. So just hold it, back button. My cursor just came back on, it's right there. Until it's off, okay? So then it's off, then the Mac is actually off, okay? Um, once again, if you have a MacBook Pro, this will work. Whether it's a Retina display or just a MacBook Pro. Um, then we're gonna have to turn it back on. Now when we turn it back on, um, as soon as we hear the sound, we're gonna press the shift key on our keyboard, okay? So we're just gonna press the button to turn it back on. Okay, and then we press the shift key on our keyboard, okay? So as I'm doing that, I'm just pressing the shift key right there. Okay, I'm just waiting for that. We're loading safe mode. Now, some people right away they will actually get a uh, black screen back again, which is normal. Um, and for that, you have to know your username and your password, okay? So, uh, all we're waiting for is the little bar right there to load up. Now, it'll take a couple seconds, so I'm just gonna pause the video and then put it back on. Okay, guys, so the bar should load all the way up, and then you'll see the spinning wheel. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for it to load up. Now, if you have a user and password, remember you have to put it in. Even if you see a black screen, you're gonna have to type in your user or just put in the, the first letter of your user, press enter, okay? And then put in the password and then press enter on your keyboard, obviously. So I'm just gonna wait for it. Um, the way that I have set up my Mac is that it directly goes into my user. It doesn't give me that option where you can put in your password. I don't have a password set up. I have it directly so it goes into the user and I don't have to click anywhere. So we'll see if I have to still go through that process. And that's gonna take a couple minutes. Okay, so at this point I didn't get the black screen, which is pretty lucky. However, it didn't go directly into my user. So I am gonna click on my first user ID, okay, which has no password, just in case. If you need a pa if you have a password, you're gonna have to input it. And once again, you guys might get a black screen at this point, so remember to type in your first initial. So for mine, it's just iMac, so I, and then your password if you have a password, or else just press enter and go to the next stage. Okay guys, so your Mac should have loaded up everything normal. At this point, just restart it again. And it should restart just fine, okay? So you just go to restart, and we restart it. So at this point, you guys should be fine. If you guys are still having problems or need more help, please uh, don't hesitate to write your comments right here below in the comments area of my video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.